I just got hair dye on my computer. Globs. You know, it's about time. Well, I had half pink hair. That was cool for a little bit. But then I got bored. Now, this is what I'm working with because I was washing it out. And it's time to spice it up. Today, I'm going to be dyeing my hair pink. And I'm also going to be adding hair tinsel to my hair. I'm going to be doing it in the chunky highlight Y2K kind of way. I think what could be cool is if the ends of my hair that I don't dye, I add like a little pink end to it. So I'm going to change into an outfit that I don't care about getting pink on. Back with the fit, the PJ pants and the blue shirt that's inside out. Kind of nervous. I don't really know what I'm doing. I looked at a couple of tutorials. A lot of them were really complicated, but I'm going to go a more simplistic approach and add my own little twist. I have hair cutting scissors because I was trimming my split ends earlier. Can you tell that they're trimmed? Probably not. I don't even know how this looks in here. Ooh. This smells really good. Comment down below what this looks like. Very excited for this now that I smelt it. Huh? Time to section. I... How am I gonna do this? I don't know if it's time for a haircut. I have a butterfly cut that I did myself and I don't know if I need to redo it. I feel like my bangs, I need more curtain bangs. That's for another video. I'm gonna try to section this out. So what I'm doing is most people, they section it out with the mohawk section, this section, and the bottom section. But since I'm doing it on my own head, I feel like I can't really see the back. So I'm gonna section it out like this type of section. So I'll be back after I do that. All right, so it's sectioned. It looks a little confusing. I couldn't see the back, so I'm just hoping that I do the back right. But yeah, here's the sectioning. It's very messy, but I understand what's going on. All right, so I've got tinfoil. I don't know if I should start with the back of my head or the front of my head. It'll be easier from the back. Let's just go right in with it. I'm gonna use this. Oh, whoa. No gloves. I don't want to waste it, but I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. This is stressful. This color is turning out very nice. I'm I'm actually really excited to see how it turns out. I didn't dilute it at all because the last hair color I had was a pretty light pink. So I just want it to be hot pink. I want it to be out there. And you can already tell it's getting out there. Wait, what, what do I do? I'm so confused on my own sectioning. Cause I'm really trying to not mix it. Oh no, I lost the section. What the heck is going on? Okay, we're back and better than ever. Pig, I think this is saturated enough. Add a little more for good measure. Time to foil it up. I've never done this in my life. It's longer than the foil. I'm just gonna fold it up. I'm trying to fold it nicely and not just crunch it. Is that good? I don't know. It looks like a cat toy. I should flip this to the other side. Okay, I do have an extra clip. That's good, that's good. Let's do this one now. More tin foil. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I didn't even process that I'm actually dyeing my hair and this is gonna look like amazing. I guess I've been so committed to this idea for a while. It's so satisfying doing this. If you guys are thinking about dyeing your hair and you haven't, I would recommend just doing it. Just if you're dyeing your hair, use a semi-permanent dye because it's less damaging. And if you're bleaching your hair, go to a professional unless you're doing a really small section or you really know what you're doing. That's my advice. And look at tutorials. Oh my goodness, I just dropped this on my rug in the bathroom. But it's fine, it adds character, it adds flavor. It's a pretty big section, so it's gonna be easy to miss spots. It's getting so tangly. The sound this is making, can you hear it? It's, it's a funny sound. I can't see behind my ear, how am I supposed to know what I've done? You know what this means though, after this is done, is I'm gonna have to go back to cold showers whenever I wash my hair. But it is worth it, in my mind. 
keep getting hair in my mouth. Big glob. I'm excited for the hair tinsel too. I've never put hair tinsel in my hair before, so I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. Oh my goodness, look how much hair came out. What the heck? Get off of my hand. It's a lot tangly, I don't know why. Cause whenever I use Manic Panic, it like straightened itself out. Kinda weird. This is prime technique, guys. I've never seen a better hair fold in my life. Oh, no. Oh no, what do I do? I can't have that there. I cannot have that there. How did I get there? This is a travesty. I'm, I'm, I, my biggest fear, it's come true. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I think we're good. This is, I was a little over dramatic, sorry. And oh my goodness, this is, this is a catastrophe. Everything is falling apart. Yay! Just get right on to it. And I realized I should have got a tin foil. I keep forgetting to take out the tin foil. Globs. I need to start doing this quicker. I'm dillying and I'm dallying. Cause whenever I started this, it was like maybe eight, nine o'clock. Don't get in the other section. I don't know why this is making my hair so tangly. It smells good though. The only hair color I've ever had is pink now that I think about it. Should I try and get other colors? Cause I've had my natural hair, I've had blonde, and I've had pink with the blonde, and I've had pink with the brown. But pink is also, I feel like it's just the hair color that suits me best. Like I wouldn't want blue hair or purple hair or green hair or, you know, black hair is something I'm interested in. Not anytime soon, cause I worked very hard for this blonde, but black hair is something I've considered. Should I try X Mondo's hair stuff? The only thing I've heard about it is that it doesn't wash out all the way, which is the only reason why I haven't done that. But maybe I'll try it out someday. Obviously I would get super pink. So I think that's the only pink he has, unless I'm mistaken. But it's supposed to be good for your hair and it probably wouldn't make my hair tangle as much as this one is. With how much it's tangling, it's making me worried that this is damaging to my hair. It's just getting worse every time I do it. And there that one goes. Hey, it's time to get into the front sections, which is exciting. I'm gonna clip this back here. I'm just realizing, I think I wanna change up the sections just a little bit. Oh, these are so hard to take out. And foil is like touching the back of my neck and it's very itchy. Oh my God. I just got hair dye on my computer. I knew that would happen too. I'm gonna try to do something satisfying. Look at that just spread on there. Look at that saturation. Beautiful. Oh wait, you know what's gonna be easier? If I fold it like this first. You have a little stray hair coming out. Oh no, it got on my face. This looks like it's gonna fall very easily. So I'm gonna reinforce it. Time to go in this section. Two more sections left. And then I get to wash it out and then I get to see what it looks like. I'm so excited. I'm, I've been wanting something like this for a while. Like it was between this and the split dye hair. So now I'm gonna be able to see what I look like with both and see what I like better. I think I'll like this one better just because the split dye, yeah, it looks very cool, but I like when there's a lot going on and the split dye is just one thing, but these strips of hair are like a bunch of different things going on at once. And I like that movement. I like that flow. <gasps> no, it got on my sock. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but it's on my song. This sounds really weird close to my ear. You know in those movies whenever they use the tin foil hats to combat against aliens? Hairdressers and hair places have lots of tin foil, so they're the ones who are gonna be most secure in that situation. Last section. Oh yeah, this is so easy because it's so short because it's on my bangs. This is gonna take like two seconds. It's getting on my forehead. Gotta deal with this. Maybe if I just, oh, I think that made it worse. Can't even see what I'm doing actually. Right, so I'm gonna come back after an hour, just letting it 
marinate. So it's been around 20 minutes, but I just remembered that I was gonna dye the tips of my hair light pink. Completely forgot about that. I also went back in and I added some dye here. Couldn't see it, don't know if it looks good. Is there even a point in doing this? Cause this pink is so light. Yeah, I don't know how well these will turn out because of, like, you can see how light it is. But like I said, we'll see. Cause that's another thing about dyeing the tips of your hair. If you have layers, it really shows. I really want it to show up on front pieces. So I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of this to the pink. I really know that it'll show up now. I'll see you when it's time to wash it out. Bow, 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 bow. It's time to rinse out my hair. And if you're wondering why the camera is at such an angle, it's because I'm gonna be rinsing it out using my bathtub faucet. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so cold. Taking out this section. Taking it out, taking it out. Taking out this section. Can't get it out, can't get it out. It's almost, it's almost. You guys, I'm doing it at the coldest setting because I want this to turn out the best. So I'm rinsing it out in the coldest possible water. Oh, that one just came out so smooth. Oh no, I have a clip in my hair. How did I forget about that? I had another one? I just stepped in a puddle of water. I think I washed most of the dye out you can definitely tell that the blonde ends are dyed this is what's going on i'll show you guys what it looks like dry it's like 95 percent dry so this is what it looks like so far now it's time to add the hair tinsel sorry about the angle but it's currently 1 a.m. and I don't feel like stacking a, a bunch of stuff. Point is, I'm tired and it's hair tinsel time. And I'm just trying to get this over with so I can go to bed. I've never even done this before, so I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I dyed my hair before, so I knew what I was doing. But I don't know what's going on with this. And if you're wondering why I'm not just doing this in the morning, it's because I want to sleep in heatless curls to see if the tinsel curls it with them. And I also don't want to curl my hair with heat because I don't want to damage my hair. I don't even know where to begin with this. Good thing there's instructions. Okay, I just read this. It actually doesn't seem that difficult. So let's get started. There's two methods that you can use for installing this stuff. And I'm going to use both of them. Oh my goodness, it's so long. This is how long I want my hair to be. It's supposed to come out. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh my goodness, this is about to go in my hair. I am so excited right now. I'm just gonna apply it in random sections because I don't know where I am supposed to put this stuff. But I'm just gonna apply it randomly throughout my hair and hope. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Okay, so it says to get this little bead on this threader and thread the hair through. But the instructions weren't very detailed. You can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, looks like I have to look up a YouTube video because the instructions don't tell me how to do this. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Oh, that was cool. So I got the strands I wanna use. And then I'm supposed to tie it at the top. The threader, or I don't know what this is called. Oh, you got stuck in my pants. I'm Okay, that was some. This is hard to do with two hands. Oh my goodness, I accidentally took it out. God, where did the tinsel go? I just dropped it for like the 50th time. This is so annoying. Oh, I think I did it, guys. I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera because I need to focus and I can't handle this. It's been more than an hour later and I'm gonna cut it, cut it right here. Perfect. Gonna cut it down here. Gonna cut this one a bit. So it's like layered. Let me actually match this one. 
to this. Ooh, or should I do like some? Would that just look bad? <laughs> I don't know. I want to add like a bigger piece over here because I didn't really add a big piece. It looks cool. The tinsel does look cool. Oh yeah, I don't know what to do up here because it doesn't look the best. I'm gonna try to cut that stuff. Now this is where it gets scary, like cutting my real hair. Some of my real hair was cut. I'm gonna put more in, but not on camera because I don't really care. Yep. All right, guys, you ready for the final review? <laughs> this turned out so good. Am I obsessed with it? Yeah. Look at it. Look at the stripes. <laughs> I'm gonna show what it looks like. It looks so good. This is scary, I can't tell. I'm surprised that I pulled this off. I didn't know I was gonna be able to do it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is definitely not gonna be the last time I'm doing something to my hair. I'm probably gonna add more hair tinsel in it later. Shout out to Bonnie. Say bye, Bonnie. Bye. Thicker, more alligator, alligator. It's not even, I'm done. All right, we're gonna put it in this section now. Or what? I'm gonna put it in the tin foil now. If aliens are ever attacking, wait. I love it.